20 years after American figure skater Nancy Kerrigan was attacked inside a Detroit arena just weeks before the 1994 Olympic Games, the only existing video clip of the moment's aftermath remains one of the lasting images of U.S. Olympic history. But for the Chicago company that shot and owns the 5 to 10 minutes of golden footage, it's also been a sizable source of revenue. And today, it's still raking in the cash. When Tanya Harding gets married, some, we get calls. When Nancy Kerrigan gets married, we get calls. It's kind of crazy, but it just kind of keeps going. This is a good one. Charlie Besser is the president and founder of Intersport, the River North Bay sports marketing and entertainment company that was putting together a TV special on Kerrigan at the time for ABC Sports and whose cameraman was the only one who happened to be rolling during the incident. Besser's first move was to embed the Intersport logo on the clip, and then he let the bidding war begin, calling outlets like Access Hollywood and Entertainment Tonight to set market value for licensing the clip before eventually selling it to ABC News. But they paid us about 60% of what the value was at the time, which, by the way, was found money for us. So from that point forward, we licensed it and licensed it and licensed it, and here we are 20 years later, and we're still licensing it. Today, Besser estimates that licensing the clip to various outlets has netted Intersports seven figures of revenue over the years through hundreds of uses on TV and the web that range in price but typically start at $10,000 to $15,000 per use or $250 per second for using it over a one-year period. It's a relative drop in the bucket for a company with more than $100 million in annual revenue through media production, made-for-TV sporting events, and sponsorship consulting, but the company has kept a careful watch over its use as social media has expanded. It is constant checking and supervision. Fortunately, we haven't had to sue anybody. Everybody knows who owns it now, um, so there's very few excuses. Uh, and when we do find people that are using it on, on an unauthorized basis, usually a phone call and we can get it straightened out pretty fast. More than a dozen licensing requests have rolled in leading up to the current Olympic Games in Sochi with recent documentaries on the incident done by both ESPN and NBC Sports. And Intersport continues to be crafty in selling it. While it cuts some licensing deals for a period of a few years, it makes sure they expire short of some key dates to keep fresh requests coming in. Everything will come to a conclusion well in advance of the 25th anniversary. And probably for the 25th anniversary, we'll probably roll something out and probably do the documentary on the whole thing and then put it to rest forever yeah yeah right <laughs> maybe yeah no, no till 30 right, right exactly. for crane chicago business i'm danny ecker